Greetings friend. Watch Refrigeration News for Friday, February 2, 2024 on our channel. New version of the air-cooled heat pump module Hexagon GX series. Infographic, how fit for 55 impacts heat pumps. Renewable heating and cooling pathways. Love Group is confirmed as one of the most climate-conscious companies. Reva at ASHRAE's Winter Conference. Ear at the 2024 ASHRAE Winter Conference and contribution to Inwick at the 2024 AHR Expo. Carrier adds Vision like commercial zoning system. Washington State leads the way by proposing a bounty on superpolluting HFC refrigerant gases. Innova and Panasonic sign Capital and Business Alliance Agreement. Dear friend, please like this video if it was useful for you. First news today. New version of the air-cooled heat pump module in Quad, Hexagon GX and Quad, series. In 2024, Daikin Industries, Limited will release a cooling-only model of the Hexagon GX series of air-cooled module chillers, which have achieved industry-leading energy savings and significantly reduced environmental impact by reducing the amount of refrigerant charged. It will be released sequentially from March. Additionally, a cooling-slash-heating switching heat pump model of the same series is currently under development and is scheduled to be released in the fall of 2024. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Infographic, how fit for 55 impacts heat pumps. The EU aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% by 2030 compared to 1990 levels. The Fit for 55 package, which covers renewable energy, energy efficiency, building energy efficiency, energy taxation and carbon trading, reviews existing legislation and sets new rules to make the European Union emissions free by 2050. Heat pumps are key to achieving these ambitious goals and have been identified by the Commission as a critical clean energy technology for decarbonizing heating and cooling systems. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Renewable Heating and Cooling Pathways With the adoption of the EU climate law in 2021, the EU has set itself a binding target to achieve climate neutrality by 2050 and to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 55% compared to 1990 levels by 2030. To support the increased ambition, the EU Commission adopted proposals for revising the key directives and regulations addressing energy efficiency, renewable energies and greenhouse gas emissions in the Fit for 55 package. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Love Group is confirmed as one of the Inquat, most climate-conscious companies in Quat. For the third year in a row, Love Group is confirmed as one of the Inquat, most climate-conscious companies in Quat. The Varese-based multinational, listed on the Euronext Star Milan segment, one of the world's largest operators in the air heat exchanger sector, is numbered among the companies that have most distinguished themselves for their commitment to reducing emissions and environmental impact according to the project by Corriere della Sera, Pianeta 2030 and Statista, a company specialized in market research, ranking and analysis of company data. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Riva at ASHRAE's Winter Conference. On Monday, January 22, 2024, RIFA, in the framework of RIFA ASHRAE cooperation, has given a seminar during the 2024 ASHRAE Winter Conference in Chicago on zero-emission buildings, rolling out the revised Energy Performance Buildings Directive in Europe. RIFA delegation was formed by the President, Cataline Lungu, Vice President and Treasurer, Livio Mazzarella, the TRC Chair, Jarek Kernitsky, and the RIFA Journal Editor-in-Chief, Yap Hogeling. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. Here at the 2024 ASHRAE Winter Conference and contribution to INWIC at the 2024 AHR Expo. ASHRAE's winter meeting took place in Chicago on January 20th to 24th. The main message, shared with the year and other associations having MOS with ASHRAE, through committee meetings, was the decarbonization of buildings, in particular with a view to being able to build net zero emissions new buildings worldwide before 2030. Read more the news on our website today. Seventh news today. Carrier adds Vision like commercial zoning system. Carrier announced the launch of its new Vision wireless climate control solution, 
which will make it easy for owners and operators of small to medium-sized commercial buildings between 5,000 and 50,000 square feet to manage comfort and energy efficiency in their facilities. Klimavision joins the portfolio of control solutions offered by Carrier, including Carrier Connect Wi-Fi commercial thermostats for small, single-zone buildings under 5,000 square feet and the IVU building automation system for larger commercial facilities over 50,000 square feet. Read more the news on our website today. Eighth News Today Washington State leads the way by proposing a bounty on super-polluting HFC refrigerant gases. Washington State held a hearing on HB 2401, a first-in-the-nation bill on recovery, reclamation, and reuse of refrigerants. Sponsored by State Representative Davina Doerr and Environment and AMP, Energy Committee Chair Beth Dolio, this bill provides the missing link, a bounty payment to incentivize technicians to recover refrigerants instead of venting them. Read more the news on our website today. Ninth News Today Innova and Panasonic Sign Capital and Business Alliance Agreement Innova SRL, an Italian manufacturer of hydronic systems, air quality and air conditioning equipment, has signed a Capital and Business Alliance's agreement with Heating and AMP, Ventilation AC Company of Panasonic Corporation, with Panasonic acquiring 40% of Innova's total shares issued. Through this agreement both parties will promote comprehensive collaboration on production, sales, and primarily in technology development of hydronic systems, such as domestic hot water X heating and AMP, cooling, air conditioning, and ventilation business. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. Please find the links below.